What a contrast to yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, one of the things I love about Dean is the, the color of the water. It's clear or green. It's really quite beautiful in here. Hook into something here. Oh, do some. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Alright, we caught him. Oh, look at that. It came right off, too. There's how you start to the day. Uh, really fast. Yep, yeah, really fast. Okay. He's going in. There he is. It was meant to start. He was on the outside. Now he's got it right in. Can't let me take all my eyes. Holy shit. It feels like this is wrapped around some weeds now. Shit. Or a stick or something. Oh, he got off. No? Nope. Yeah, he got off. Oh. And Hal lost his fast, so I, I got him. He's a big guy. <laughs> yeah, so, see, I do actually catch fish here once in a while. Very cool. There we go. The wind's almost non-existent. The sun's come out. So, I just came out into conch from June. Just a little 170. Um, <clears throat> a couple little hills on it and stuff. But very well maintained, well used. Easy to find. This is starting the portage. It's a small portage, but it's got a heck of a rocky uphill. You're coming out of Quetico or downhill. Old spike in a ring. Pretty nice. Oh, there goes that. We'll come back later and check out the waterfalls it's pretty nice less people I figure there's 25 percent of the people this year the park warden told us about 75 percent of the visitors are americans and the park didn't really open until around july so yeah this is the rocky walk here it actually isn't as bad as i remember it but uh, maybe check some of my older pictures I mean, cleaned it up a bit but still gotta watch your feet and footing here and there's some nice little waterfall here but the water's look really low right now it's not as big as usual Trust your footwear. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we are. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, there's five. Oh, the one at the front's just huge. That one there, that's, that's a very, very big bass. Oh, and the one in the front almost looks. Smart. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you just scared him. I'll just step hard and scared him all off. Well, we're going to leave him alone because uh, we want to come back and catch him all. Oh, this is pretty nice. Usually you can't even get close out here. So. Let's see what it falls up in behind there. I've never been able to get over on this side before. The water is usually too high.
So that was a nice little walk by the So we're right up by the end. And now notice that you can see the remnants of the old dam that they made in there to hold this water back. This was a chute, I'm sure, for the logs. Been here so long, these trees are actually growing over top of it. So we stopped in at this campsite, it's on the southern shore I guess, of the lake, Aquatico Lake. Uh, I've been here once before so I kind of knew where it was but it hasn't been used in a while. But uh, the sun's going down on that side so we've got some stuff charging. Went in for a quick swim because it was uh, pretty hot. and. Uh, over there there's some big sandy beaches all on that shore so see how we feel we might stay here get up tomorrow and go exploring over there there's a couple of smaller lakes back in there that would be fun to paddle around and uh, cleaned up that fireplace hasn't been used in a while and then there's obviously been a moose here. You can see this old steel cable. Again, they just left it here. Great big piece here, but one thing I remember about being here before is that they wrapped it around this poor old tree, which is now dying. And uh, we were here before I saw this, and uh, you see where it's dug right into the tree. The tree's just growing around it. So I don't know if that's what killed it or not, but it's a nice spot back here except for the fact that there's been a moose back here. And a uh, nice place for a fireplace back in here if it gets too stormy. Got our tent set up here, canoe in down there. Uh, lots of good spots to tie up a tarp here and just gonna hang out make some dinner have a nice relaxing night and yeah, I'll see what we're gonna do tomorrow <laughs>